On March 21st, the U.S. Department of Justice sued Apple for antitrust violations, claiming that they have an illegal monopoly on the smartphone market with iPhone. So why exactly is Apple getting sued? Well, the DOJ has provided five reasons. First, is preventing super apps from ever existing on iPhone. Super apps like WeChat allow users to install mini programs, which are essentially apps within the app. For example, WeChat in China is commonly used for shopping, storing medical information, and even ordering dry cleaning. In America, this mini app approach never took off, and the DOJ claims it's because of Apple's interface restrictions which force developers to use flat, text-only lists to display mini programs instead of icons. Plus, Apple prevented payments for mini programs, which may have encouraged developers to create native apps instead, although Apple changed that rule two months ago. The second reason is Apple's decision to block cloud streaming games from the App Store, which are easier for developers to create and maintain since they only have to make the game once, then it can be streamed to various platforms instead of developing multiple native apps. Also, updating the game would be easier and faster for the same reason. Apple not only blocked these gaming apps on iPhone until 2020, but afterward they required developers submit separate apps for every game offered on their streaming service, then send out identical updates for each individual app. Doing this required such intense developer resources that they simply didn't bother offering their apps on iPhone. Again, this rule was changed two months ago. The third reason is Apple's efforts to make the messaging experience with Android as bad as possible by refusing to support RCS. Photos or videos sent from Android to iPhone were low resolution, and features like typing indicators and red receipts were not available. The DOJ claims this added an obstacle for users to switch to Android and may have left the impression that those devices were lower quality. The fourth reason is making Apple Watch exclusively compatible with iPhone. And while you can technically pair it to an Android device after setup, the watch loses most of its functionality. This introduces yet another obstacle to switching from iPhone, since you'd not only have to buy a new Android phone, but also a compatible smartwatch. And the final reason the DOJ sued Apple is because they don't let developers create digital wallet apps with tap-to-pay functionality. By exclusively offering this feature on their own wallet app, Apple again makes it difficult for users to switch, since they'd leave behind the familiarity of an everyday app, have to set up a new digital wallet, and potentially lose access to certain credentials and personal data stored in Apple Wallet. Now these are accusations made by the Department of Justice, with Apple saying they'll vigorously defend themselves against the lawsuit. Results of the investigation will likely take several years and may lead to other lawsuits against Google, Amazon, and Meta. This is Greg with Apple Explained, and if you want to learn how I make videos like these, let me know by tapping the link in the comments.